Hey guys, in today's video I'll be showing you how to turn your 2D logos into a 3D version using Adobe After Effects. Let's go! So first things first, you're going to want to have your vector logo. Open it in Illustrator. So I've got my Liverbird logo here. Um, just make sure that it's all one colour. So you can do that by clicking View and Outlines. So you can see all your outlines here. Um, once you've sorted that, just save it as an Illustrator file, so .ai file, and it should be ready to go. So we just create a comp new composition. You can choose whatever size you want, whatever size you want your logo to be. So I've just got the default 1080p here, and then the time, 30 seconds, whatever, and click OK. And on this bit, you'll see I've got two views for the camera, but we'll talk about that in a second. So just gra drag your logo into the timeline straight away and it should pop up. Yes, yeah, so we've got a logo. Make sure you tick this little box for your vector logo. So that means we, we can stretch it to infinite amounts and it won't lose any um, quality. So I'm just stretching my logo out here to create the biggest possible logo. Make sure you have your 3D option box turned on and then we're going to go to the renderer. So in the renderer in the top right corner click on this and I've already got it on but you need to have Cinema 4D on and there are a few um, pros and cons to having Cinema 4D um, but we basically we will need it for to create this um, 3D logo. There's the disabled section and the enabled section. I would have a read through this just in case you're not familiar with it. Click OK. And then we need to create your vector into shapes. So right click on your Illustrator file here. Go to create and create shapes from vector layer. This will create the vector into shapes. So now that we can, we can change a lot more with the perspective and the depth of your logo. And as you'll see, I've got still got two views here. So the, the left view is top and the right view is active camera. So the top is literally a view of the top of our logo. And you'll see it'll become clearer once we've changed the settings here. So click on geometry options and we need to whack the depth up. So just basically I've just whacked it up about 80. And you can see the depth on the top camera it has created a lot of depth, but still on the active camera, you can't really tell. Now we'll need to change perspective so we can see that it is a 3D. Click on layer and new. New light. And I'm just going to keep these settings. You can change them around if you like, but I'm just going to keep it quite simple. Just click OK. You can change quite a few things here, intensity, angle, feather, but I'm just going to play safe and just go with what they've given me. So now we can change the direction of the light that's shining on our new 3D logo. So, so now we can change the perspective of our, of our actual logo. So click on the outlines logo and we can change the X rotation, the Y rotation, the Z rotation. So this is what will move around your logo and you can see it in the um, active camera view that you can see the logo is literally moving around. It's basically in a rectangle, so cube now. So yeah, I'm literally just playing around, just trying to get the logo that I want and I would like. And obviously you can change everything. You can zoom in, you can create so many different angles of your logo. So we can change where the light is coming from and how far the light goes. There's a lot of different options that you can use for this. And I would have a play around with everything just like I am here, just to see how you want your light to be pointed. So with the spotlight, you can change quite a few things. Obviously, the further away it is, the darker your logo will be. So you can point it at certain things you see on my live bird here it's darker at the bottom so I can change where it's pointing and how much light is being shown towards this logo
So now we're just going to change it to one view just to see what frame we're going to save. So please remember that you, this is the frame that you are going to save as your JPEG um, file. So we're going to go to composition, save frame as file. And this will add it to your render queue. It's automatically going to be um, rendered as a PSD, but I think you can change it. I'm not, I'm not too sure, but once you render it, this will render out a flat image. This will not be editable. So please make sure that you've got the right frame here and then we can go hop into Photoshop and have a look at our new frame. So this is our 3D logo. So as you can see, it is flat, as in it's just an image. It's not a editable PSD file, but you can do so much with this. This is a great way just to turn a 2D logo into a 3D logo and obviously say if this angle isn't the best one for you you can change it so yeah i hope this has helped you guys with turning your 2d logos into 3d logos and let me know what you think and please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye